Hello guys, in this video tutorial we will tell you how to add the video feature to your app. Log into your account and go to your business dashboard. Next click on manage app and you'll be redirected to the overview page. Next click on edit under the edit test and go live section. Now to add the video feature click on the add feature button in the sidebar. Then click view all and search video. Click on the feature to add it to your app. Once you added the feature, you will see the feature listed in my feature section, where you can edit, customize, and organize your added features the way you want. Now hover over the feature and you will have options to show hide the feature, edit and customize the feature, delete the feature, and move the feature. Now let's check out what all you can do with the newly added video feature. Click on the pencil icon here to edit and customize the feature. This is your page or feature name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the feature icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or an outline icon or an image from our library or upload your own custom icon image. You can even upload two different images for the mobile app and website. Now let's move to the content section now. The content section allows you to upload videos from your device or through third-party platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Ustream, Vimo, Livestream, etc. Now first, let's add a video play playlist from YouTube. Click on YouTube to add a YouTube URL. Here's your category name. If you want, you can change the name as per your needs. From here, you can delete the YouTube video category. This is your YouTube icon. If you want, you can upload your own custom icon image. From here, you can change the menu name. Now select your desired options from URL, channel, playlist, etc. Then add the YouTube URL in this field. You can refer to the tutorial for obtaining the YouTube URL by clicking the I icon here. Next click on the add more button to add multiple YouTube URLs. From here you can move the YouTube fields. Also you can click the star icon here to make the video feature. Click the bin icon here to delete the YouTube field profile. Now let's add videos from Facebook. Click the Facebook option here. This is your category name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can delete the Facebook category option. Now here is your Facebook menu icon and menu name. If you want, you can change them as per your needs. Next, enter the Facebook page name URL in this field. Click on the star icon to make the Facebook video feature. If you want to add multiple Facebook profiles, then click on the add more button. To delete the Facebook profile, click the bin icon here. Now, in a similar way, you can integrate videos from Ustream, Vimo, Live Streaming, Media RSS, Daymotion, Facebook Live, and YouTube Live. Now, let's check out the custom option that allows you to upload videos from your device. Click on the custom option here. This is your custom video category name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can delete the custom video category. Next comes uploading the video videos you have the option to upload videos from your device or through a video url for uploading the video click the upload video tab here specify the video name here and click the icon here to change the video icon next click on browse to upload a video file from your device you can also add a video url by providing the video name and custom video url here Similarly, you can add multiple custom videos by either uploading a video or adding a video URL. You can also make the video feature by clicking on the star icon. In a similar way, you can integrate 360 videos by either uploading video from your device or by adding a custom or YouTube URL. Now let's change the layout and color scheme of the video feature. Click on this color palette icon here to change the page style and color scheme. Click on the background icon here and select an image for the page background. If you want, you can select an image from a library, solid color, or upload your own custom background image. Next, select your desired layout from the given options. From here, you can set the page elements, color, font size, and indent. You can enable or disable the feature video option from here. Also, you can display or hide the date on the videos if you want. From here, you can change the location of the social sharing options tray. Now let's move on to the in-app purchase section and enable in-app for this feature. 
Click the in-app settings icon in the side menu, then under in-app settings enable the in-app toggle and provide the necessary credentials in the required fields. Please note, you can enable in-app for both Android and iOS. To get the credential, you can click on the question mark icon and refer to our tutorial. After providing the credentials, you can use them as global credentials by checking this checkbox here. Please note you can also add new credentials if you want. Next we have is advanced settings. Click this icon here to go to the advanced settings section. Enable this toggle if you want to open videos in your device native player. You can also auto play your live streaming and custom videos by enabling this toggle here. Now turn on the video sharing toggle to allow your users to share videos. Next enable this toggle if you want to display video listings in reverse order. You can also enable screencast by turning on this toggle here. Now let's move to the language settings. Click here and you'll be redirected to the language settings section. Here you will see all the default text currently being displayed on your app. If you want, you can change the language settings from here. Once you're done, click on save to save the changes manually or directly click the publish button to see the reflection of your latest updates on your mobile app. That's all for now, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.